Hello, this is Shishankar Dhyal and I welcome you to this tutorial in which uh, we will proceed with the string.h library functions. In this part we will learn about four copying functions. One you have already seen strcpy. We will uh, uh, cover three more, memcopy, memmove and strncpy. So I have this um, well, stdlib.h is not needed. So what memcopy does is, you have destination string. I have taken as 10 characters. And you have src. The string is source within double quotes. And what memcopy will do is, it will copy source to destination and you have to specify how many bytes you want to copy. And there you can say you want to copy so many bytes. So if you see strln function, you will find that it calculates the length of the string, which I have given as the length of source. Now there is a mistake in the program. I am not copying the null terminating character, which you should. Otherwise, it will not be copied. Okay. Now the catch is that destination one and src memory locations should not overlap. Now what if your locations are overlapping? I mean in memcopy if the memory overlaps then the behavior is undefined. So if the memory location is overlapping what you should do is you should use memmove function. What memmove does is it will copy src to some temporary location and then copy that to destination. Now that temporary location will have no overlap with your destination or src. Therefore you are safe. But then again, it's two-way copying. So slightly inefficient. strcpy simply copies this as source to destination. Now str and cpy is different in the sense that it avoids uh, the risk that your destination may be smaller than source. Here you have to specify how many bytes you want to copy and those many bytes you will uh, it will copy. Now the specification of number of bytes which you have to copy has to be given by programmer. So it's up to you how many bytes you want to copy. Now what could happen is that your destination may be smaller than source and if you use strcpy then it's a buffer overrun, uh, buffer overrun problem because then strcpy will try to overwrite beyond what destination is and then your program may crash and anything can happen. So let us compile this program. Okay, make string2 and then we run this string2. So you see str and cpy copied only 4 bytes and others are nothing but source. So we learn four functions here. So mem copy to retrate simply copies source to destination one and the memory location should not overlap. If they overlap you can use mem move inefficient but good. strcpy normally is a security flaw while strncpy is good. Why strcpy is a security flaw is because suppose src is coming from network then no matter how big this is, src can be made always to overflow this. For example, you are receiving a form from HTML page and your web page, for example, you are describing a blog post or something or maybe writing a comment somewhere, then src can be made to be greater than destination 3 always and then your program will crash. So you should always use str and cpy. In fact, many compilers gives you security warnings if you use str cpy. So make a habit of using str and cpy. I have used str cpy till now for the sake of simplicity. In our next program, we will learn how to implement our own str cpy and our own str and cpy. Thanks for watching the video and uh, if you like this video, you can hit like button and uh, as well uh, you can just hit dislike button if you dislike the video. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next part.